Well, I'm going to give y'all an update today on this, uh, on the garden here. Let's show y'all how it's doing. I know it's been a little while. And, uh, may hear a little wind noise there. The wind's been blowing all day. But, uh, this is what my tomatoes looking like right here. These ones by my firewood. And, uh, so they're looking pretty good. Uh, fixing to have to stake them. You know, went in between here and planted some, uh, banana pepper in here and uh, then my, I don't know if I ever showed y'all them I got a little onion row of onions back here bunching onions so they look like they doing better now and over here on the end down here got uh, these different pepper plants bell pepper and uh, they got some cayenne pepper and jalapeno pepper I'm gonna have to go back and and look, I can't tell you exactly what's what. I don't forgot where I planted uh, the different ones, but as soon as they start fruiting, we'll know. <laughs> but uh, something kind of funny here. This is a uh, cherry tomato, and that's a cherry tomato. Look at the difference. That in there is growing like crazy. This one right here just kind of, uh, you know, it's catching up a little bit, but I don't know why. Just a little bit more stagnant there. I'm not really sure what's going on for him, but. Anyway, I'm gonna walk down here. Um, here's some to tomatoes we transplanted right here, and uh, they're not looking too good. They got a little yellow. Well, I'll get down water, and I was hoping it was gonna be raining, um, but um, I'll probably have to water these this evening if uh, we don't get no rain. And these are squash. They're doing a little bit better. These are the ones that you know I had to set out in the mud, and I wasn't really sure if I was going to do anything, but uh, they've already started uh, trying to produce some uh, squash. Just not too big. Set it over right there. And then over here, planting some peas over in here, and they've started popping up. And right down through here, that's where my peppers are. Different ones. Uh, they say they're gonna they need some rain but uh they'll, they'll come on up once we get some rain and then uh plant some more squash right there and they're doing all right i'm gonna thin those out plots i'm not really sure i see a little bit of corn starting to pop up but uh we'll have to wait and see how that does uh, i'm not gonna hold my breath on that because um, that soil just, you know, just bakes real hard whenever sun hits it after it rains. But uh, we'll we'll see what happens with it. And right over here, I planted some butter beans, and uh, I think I seen maybe one right here trying to pop up, but uh, they haven't came up yet. So we're gonna see what happens with them. And here's my tomatoes right here. They're looking real good. Um, Got different types of tomatoes down through here. I'll show you those. They got a good color to them, most of them there. So. And here's my cucumbers right here. My buckets, I got one right here running here. And that right there. Uh, like I say, going to get in here this evening, pull some of this grass out. Get in here this evening, water these. Get some grass out of here. I just want to try to see what these do right here in these uh, containers, you know. Um, just curious, you know, I've never done that before. Just want to see how, how it turns out. And then down through here, I got some cucumbers right there. They're starting to grow pretty good. Then my butternut squash down through here they're coming out of kinks uh, then I planted some more two more tomatoes right in here um, I think these are brandywine tomatoes right here that I planted and uh, 
There's my cucumbers right here in a little box. They're starting to try to run on this one right here, so well, they're going to be all right. Then here's some right here that I uh, transplanted. And um, I don't know, I, I don't like transplanting because you, if you look at the color of them, it just, I don't know, I just don't have much luck out of them when I start transplanting cucumbers. I'd rather just plant them by the you know, seed. But went ahead and put two more pepper plants right in here. Here's these uh, cucumbers down here. These are starting to uh, run right here a little bit. And I've got these right here got growing. They're doing good. Got some blooms already on it. Uh, so just want to give y'all update on uh, the garden. Oh, almost forgot. One more thing. Um, Plant is some uh, okra in these rows right here, and they they starting to pop up. Um, okra's always been uh, hard uh, for me anyway to get up out of ground. It's always pre-soaked my uh, okra seeds. Uh, try to like a day or something like that to help uh, get them going there. But uh, it looks like I'm gonna have a uh, you know several rows of okra, so it looks like that's gonna be good. Um, I say the soil is not the best, and that's why I was always worried about you know uh, just the soil uh, hardening over, keeping them from uh, coming up. But it uh, looks like they've done pretty good. So uh, just want to bring y'all along, give y'all this little quick update. And uh, so another thing I don't know if you notice, I, I tillered up, disc up, and tillered up a lot of my garden. I, I didn't like all that uh, grass was growing in it. And uh, so I know I'm do this anyway, but I figured, you know, this year well, I said, well, maybe this year I just, you know, tiller up what I need instead of just tilling up everything. But after I started looking at it, I didn't like it. And uh, so I just tiller up the whole whole thing like I normally do. And I got this little spot right here that I haven't done anything with. Um, so I'm going to keep that, you know, I'm gonna keep tilling up on that. And you see all the clods of dirt right there. Just how bad it is but I'm going to keep trying to break that up and I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for I'll, I'll come in here I'll plant something right in here but uh, just wanted to give y'all an update on the garden everything how it's going and I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and uh, as always friends from my family to yours y'all have a blessed day we'll see you later bye bye